Guys, I hope at this point you are all familiar with Gus G, the power metal guitarist from Greece of the band Firewind and formerly the uh, Ozzy Osbourne Axeman. In addition to Firewind and Ozzy, he's also done several solo albums and a bunch of other band projects, especially early on, Dream Evil and so forth. Honestly, he's one of my favorite guitarists from the sort of new generation of old school shredders. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is his signature guitars. I have two of them here, one from ESP LTD and one from Jackson, and today we're going to pit them against each other and see which one is the mightiest power metal battle axe. Let's check it out. All right, so Gus G has been around since the early 2000s, and when it comes to guitars, he's really known mostly for this random star shape. He was an ESP artist for many years, and during that time, this was one of the signature models that was released. After quite a few years with ESP, he switched over to Jackson, and this is one of his Jackson signature guitars. Now these are both entry-level models and they go for around $500 when they're new. Let's briefly go over the specs and then we'll get down to business and listen to how they sound and see how they play. But real quick guys, if you enjoy videos like this and you enjoy checking out affordable guitars and affordable guitar gear and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. First, let's look at the earlier ESP version. So this guitar, of course, it's got the random star body shape. It's a basswood body, and then it's got a maple neck, and it's a painted neck, and bolt-on construction there, as you can see. Rosewood fretboard, 22 frets on this model, but some of the later models had a redesigned lower horn, which gave you a little bit better fret access, and also 24 frets. For pickups and electronics, we've got a pair of ESP-branded proprietary humbuckers so these were made, you know, specifically for the Gus G Signature Series, uh, but they're still the, you know, kind of more affordable ESP branded pickups. Got a three-way toggle switch down here on the lower horn, and then just a single volume knob. Now this is, like I said, the entry-level kind of basic version. Some of the more advanced or more expensive versions of this guitar had uh, the kill switch, which Gus used to use on the guitars, but he got rid of that later on. The neck is kind of a nice U-shape. It's a pretty thin, pretty flat neck, and these are extra jumbo frets on this thing. And it's a very, very comfortable neck. It's definitely a shredder's neck. And the other thing that's obvious when you look at it, but it's really worth pointing out, is the stop tail bridge down here. He's kind of known for never really using a Floyd Rose or really any kind of trim, mostly just stop tail bridges. Now, when we move over to the Jackson version, and again, this is the more recent one, Gusty is currently with Jackson. Uh, the ESP version I have is from like eight to 10 years ago. This one here is just about a couple of years old. Of course, we have the same body shape on here. We got this cool pinstriping. It's a satin finish on this version here. And the body on this guitar is poplar as opposed to basswood on the earlier version. Now the neck here, again, it's a maple neck. It's a bolt-on neck. This one has 24 frets. I believe all of the Jackson Gusty models have 24 frets. Again, two humbuckers here and the same control layout with a three-way toggle switch down here on the lower horn and a single volume control. And again, the stop tail bridge on here. This neck is another great, really comfortable neck. This particular guitar, this Gus G model, is from the Jackson JS32 series, and they've done a really, really good job with really nice necks on pretty budget-friendly guitars. So it's got nice big jumbo frets and a very thin, very flat, very shreddable neck. All right, so they both really have pretty similar specs. They're both right about the same price when they were new, and they both look really cool. But let's go ahead and plug them in and listen to how they sound. And one thing to keep in mind for this demo, I'm going to use the Gus G tuning, which is whole step down or D standard tuning. All right, guys, let's check them out.
All right, guys, after playing both of these two guitars, uh, here's, here's my feelings on the guitars. I prefer the playability of the uh, ESP LTD version. The neck is really, really comfortable. Um, something about, uh, I don't know, the feel of the neck or the way the frets are done. It's just really, really playable, really, really nice to play. But I think I prefer the tone of the Jackson version. It's, it's a little bit more mid-rangey, a little bit more biting, a little bit more aggressive sounding. But what did you guys think? Uh, you know, let me know in the comments section below. And also, what do you guys think of the looks of these guitars? I personally, I always love the star shape, you know, the, all the heavy metal shapes and so forth, and these really look cool. There's not a lot of options for star-shaped guitars, you know, the classic random star shape, if you're like an Akira Takasaki fan or something like that. Not a whole lot of options. So I'm really thankful that Gus G has used this shape for his signature guitars and really kept this body shape accessible for other players. Now obviously the Jackson version is his current signature guitar, so you can go and you know buy one of these new. Uh, these, of course, these are not made anymore because when Gus uh, left, you know, when he stopped working with ESP, they discontinued the signature model. But fortunately, it was a pretty popular model and he was with that company for a long time, so there are a lot of these available on the used market. Now guys, I'll put a link down in the video description below for where you can get, uh, you know, one of the new Jackson versions. If you, if you want one of the LTD ones, you're just going to have to sort of hunt around on, on eBay or Reverb or any of the other used gear sites. And I will also put a link to uh, Gus G's YouTube channel down in the video description because he's got a really cool channel. I mean, he has music videos on there and then he also has uh, like little lesson clips and, you know, technique videos and things like that. It's really cool stuff. And on the topic of guitar technique, I just have to mention this real quick. I have a new instructional video out. It's all about 1980s style guitar. So I'll put a link. I've got a 50% off link down in the video description below. So please check that out if you're interested in shredding. As always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I look forward to reading your comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.